Lovely. Lovely to be here. Um, look, I watch, I watch a lot of reality television, I admit it. You know, because it's easier than dealing with what's in the news, isn't it? It's like the cost of living crisis and the war with Russia, or a woman with big lips repeatedly trusting a tradie with matters of the heart. <laughs> I'm team lips. I love the celebrity reality TV shows the best. They're, they're my favourite, right? I've been in a couple myself. Yeah, thank you. A few of you are like, that's stretching the definition of celebrity, but anyway. <laughs> I love them because I love watching the excuses that celebrities come up with to be in the show, because it's still seen as quite embarrassing to be on these shows, right? And they always say this, they always say this, yeah, I'm here today because I want to show my kids that no matter what the obstacles in life, no matter what the challenges, it's never too late to fulfil your hopes and dreams. Yes, it is, and no, you're not. <laughs> like, like, you're here for the small amount of money and the publicity boost. Come on! <laughs> Don't drag your kids into your hopes and dreams. It's not fair. Like, I just feel like, as a parent, you need to be an empty void of hopes and dreams. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> and if they're not gone, repress them. <laughs> Please. Like, I have no idea what my parents' hopes and dreams are, and I never will. <laughs> Not because they're dead, but because I don't care. <laughs> and that's the natural order of things. That's good parenting. <laughs> don't inflict your hopes and dreams on people. Like, I think we've all had that partner, haven't we, in the past, and you're sitting on the couch next to them, and they turn to you and they're like, yeah, no, I just thought there'd be more to life than this, you know? <laughs> I was going to be someone. I, I had hopes and dreams. And you're just like, yeah, OK. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the voice is on, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and these people have actual hopes and dreams. It might not be too late for them, so sorry. <laughs> like, don't create that feeling in your children. I was loving one recently. I was watching it. There was a celebrity footballer on there. And he was talking about how he's got a really shy daughter, really shy daughter. And he said, you know, and I wanted to come in here to show her that no matter what the obstacles in life, no matter what the challenges, it's never too late to fulfil your hopes and dreams. I was like, yeah, what does that involve? Just spending days in the front yard with this kid waiting for the postman? <laughs> when he comes, just being like, come on, Katie, give him a wave. Here he is, say hello, don't be shy, give him a wave. Come on, you don't want to? Oh, well. Looks like I'm going to have to go on SAS Australia. <laughs> oh, no. Like, come on, if you want to get ripped and spend two months away from your family rolling around the mud with a former bachelorette while an angry Englishman yells at you all in the hope of getting a job on Triple M Breakfast Brisbane, did just say that. <laughs> you know what shy kids love? A midterm move schools to Brisbane. My name's Katie and this is my... We saw your dad crying on the TV! <laughs> no, no, Mum said he was crying because he misses us. No, he shit his pants in the echo chamber of death and Pauline had to pull him out. <laughs> it was bad, man. He nearly died in there. And you know why? Because you're shy! <laughs> Have a wonderful festival. Good night.